Hi everyone. Um, this is the start of Unit 2, and Unit 2 is really short. It's Actually, it should be part of Unit 1, but that makes Unit 1 really long, so I kind of split it off, and we're just going to spend the next uh, three weeks, you can tell by the dates here, talking about bonding. So the things that you learned about the structure of matter in the last few weeks of Unit 1, um, how those electrons, the, the geometry, now they're going to come into play in bonding. So Week 9, we're going to, it's your introduction to bonding. Um, we're going to go on in here and talk about uh, one of the things that I, you have to do this week is turn in a bonding metaphor. So I'm going to give you an example right now because we're going to talk about ionic and covalent bonds. Um, an ionic bond, if you could imagine two people having to share an umbrella, if it was an ionic bond, a person would come in the door of the shop and they, they would give their umbrella to the person going out the door of the shop to use. If it was a covalent bond for that umbrella, the two people would walk down the street together sharing the umbrella. So that is my bonding metaphor for ionic and covalent bonds. You will need to turn one in at the end of the week. So let me just go over the other assignments this week. There's quite a but there's some reading, you're going to read uh, sections 1, 2, and 3 of chapter 6, and those are on bonding. So the check for understanding questions on both of those are fairly quick and short, and those are designed to make sure that you guys are understanding what you're reading. The other thing is a virtual type lab that you will do on uh, this site called SAM Chemical Bonds. I do just want to point out to you guys um, on the SAM Getting Started page, I have made a spreadsheet where I've given you all of your logins. You all have the same password, but use your login. Um, and then I can actually see your results. And here are the system requirements. You will need to make sure that you can do those and you do need to have Java enabled. So those all work. I have run the, ta the site, so you are responsible for making those work, and there is the link to help you. So that part's pretty straightforward. If you get down, if you're not understanding the bonding stuff, remember, go into the supplemental materials. There's more videos in here about ionic and covalent Lewis dot structures all these things that we're going to be talking about over the next few weeks. If you need these, these are here. Hopefully, though, what is listed up here is going to be enough for all of you to get through it. So let me know if you have questions.